So I'm here today uh, in Victoria, BC. With uh, Orville, who grew up uh, in, where'd you grow up in? Kenora, Saskatchewan. Kenora, Saskatchewan, and had the foresight to keep his beehive photos. Your mom never threw them away. No, she never threw them. She, <laughs> just, she just gave them to me about 10 years ago. She says, here, I don't need them anymore. And, and you also kept the original envelopes yep. that Beehive sent these to you in. Do you remember how, as a kid, you would, you would get these? Yes, What, what I was do. the process? Like, what would you do? Well, what, what would happen is my dad or mom or whoever it is buy the Beehive corn syrup, the thing, because she did a lot of baking and okay. cooking and all this. Okay. So what I did is I cut the label off and uh, then I mailed the label in, in an envelope. And I don't remember, I don't know, I didn't have to pay anything. I just mailed uh, the label to the envelope and they sent me one or two pictures. Did you had a promotion. Did you pick the players that you wanted? No. No. Oh, they just sent them they to you? They sent them because okay. they didn't, uh, you know, I didn't know what time, you know, seven, eight oh, years old. Because I always I, thought you picked the players that you wanted. Yeah, but eight years old, I okay. didn't know. Uh, okay. Or did you have a favorite team? Oh, I'm a, I'm a Maple Leaf. Strong Maple Leaf. My, my dad was a Maple Leaf. He would go and and listen, to us, and we wouldn't be able to listen to the radio all week because he wanted the battery safe for Saturday night. But there was only six teams, yes. so, so you had to really pick your... Yeah, and then, well, of course, he didn't like the Canadians. Okay. And, of course, the other ones were American. Uh, Chicago, New York, he Boston. Want, uh, he didn't want the American team, so okay. it was a Maple Leaf. And my uncle had all the uh, use, uh, you know, like the uh, hockey use. Okay. And he passed away and he threw it all in the garbage. Uh, yeah. He had a yeah. whole... Half, half ton full. He saved them when he was... When he I was, hear those stories and I want to cry. Yeah, uh, yeah. well I wanted to cry too. All these, all these uh, hockey uses that were from the 30s because yeah. he, was, he was 80 and he saved them. Yeah. He lived in the farm. Okay. He knew every WHL player. Really? The, every NHL player. So in those days kids read. There was no TV, there was exactly. no internet, you read. Exactly. You read and you had knowledge. Kids, exactly. You know what I mean? So everyone says kids today are smarter. I think kids, kids in those days were smarter because they used the You brain. know what happened? When the internet came, that's where everything yeah. changed. Well, we're, we're old. You yeah. can't tell that to those I know, guys. I know. Anyway, so, so you've got about 80 beehive photos well, here. 88. Level. I can't 88. Want to call okay. Them. Okay. And, uh, and what are these? Oh, these are the programs. Okay. Oh, these and are okay. oh, the here. schedules. The schedules. The schedules, yeah. yeah. Okay. And if you notice, I was sitting listening to the yeah. radio with my dad. Okay. And I'd write the scores down. Okay, so there's one from 63, oh, they're 1963, 64. Yeah, so you look at the and you wrote the scores right? inside. Some of them, yeah. So you were actually listening to the radio in those with days and you would, with your dad and you would write down the scores. Yeah. See, this puts a real sort of um, personal perspective into this stuff. It's not just, yeah. not just paper with a picture on yeah. it, it actually means something to you. Yeah. That's fantastic. Wow. No. Okay, well, I just showed the pictures of all the uh, beehive uh, pictures, and, and uh, Mike was very fair with me. I will deal with him again, and uh, I didn't expect to get what I was getting, and I'm very happy. So I paid you more than you thought. You bet you paid me more than Thank I thought. You, yeah. Thank, Thank you, Orville. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And and uh, as Orville has done, if you have this kind of stuff sitting around old cards, packs, programs, yearbooks, game-worn jerseys, sticks. Pick up the phone, give me a call like Orville did, 604-726-1774. I'll come meet you and I'll buy your stuff. Thank you very much.